I can never get it when I'm on the ground You can never get it when you pull me down Even when I fall, let's be open now Something about the space that I honor now Something about the race of the richest town Something about this place falling down I don't wanna glow up just to watch you drown This ain't Holly Choco, we in fighting now Hey, it's Anna. So in my last video talking about a fast, I said that I'm gonna do a 12 day fast of just juice, just liquid and herbs that are all recommended by Dr. Sabi on his list of alkaline foods. So this is an update and I just wanna start off by saying, as you can probably tell by the title, that I did three days and this was my first ever attempt at doing a fast. So I am pretty proud of myself, even though it was like nowhere near the 12 days I'm still pretty proud of myself for doing the three days and I just want to share my experience on it and then I know in the future I'm definitely gonna actually do longer than the three days but I'm also gonna explain why I only did three days so I'll link the first video that I made talking about the fast down below because I explained all the details of why I want to do it but I'm just gonna keep this video for my actual experience of it and why I stopped at three days. So as I'm sure you know, fasting is very, very good for the body and I wanted to do 12 days because I'm pretty sure it was Dr. Sabi or it was somebody that I watched on YouTube when I was researching about fasting. They said that you need to do it for a minimum of 12 days for your body to actually like start to detoxify and get rid of all of the bacteria. Is it bacteria? Parasites? toxins, all of that stuff, like it needs to be at least 12 days for it to actually start to work through and remove all of the toxins. But the first day I felt so, so tired. And I feel like maybe that's to do with the fact that I hadn't been really taking care of myself that much. Like I wasn't meditating, I wasn't doing any of my spiritual practices that I normally do every day. So I definitely noticed the difference. Like if I'm not meditating, if I'm not working out, then I noticed the difference in my, I noticed the difference in my mood. So I think that kind of had something to do with it. But then obviously going from eating like proper starchy meals of like pasta and pizza and that kind of thing into just liquid and limiting that between 12 and 8 is quite a jump which also goes into the reason of why I stopped at three days. So I realised after the second day like my cravings were trying to fight me they were literally telling me to go and get some chocolate go and eat a pizza like I was craving pasta so bad and this is just the fucking second day it's insane how much our bodies get used to foods that are not good for it you know foods that it can't even process properly and yet it is screaming for more <laughs> so like even though I only did three days it really taught me so much about my mind and about my body and about how much it was craving certain foods that it didn't need and also how like when you put your mind to something you can actually do it you know so I kind of learned a whole range of things so I feel like for a first attempt three days is not that bad like I'm actually quite proud of myself for even doing it because normally I would decide that I want to do something to do with food or exercise and half the time I wouldn't even start it or I would start for a day and I would stop or I would do it for like an hour and then I would stop you know so I'm kind of glad that I at least went through it and got to day three but the reason I chose to stop is because I realized like I was feeling dizzy and all kinds of stuff which I know is a part of it and I know that that's normal to feel but the reason I stopped is because I realized that I was trying to jump too much like my friend um hannah if you've watched our podcast you will know who that is but um she said to me like you're literally trying to jump 10 steps without doing the other steps in between like you're jumping so far and that's why i was like the mind was kind of taking over and the fear was taking over even more because I was jumping so far ahead, you know, instead of like gradually transitioning. Like most people when they fast, they literally have to prepare for it, you know, like they'll reduce certain foods and up other certain foods and stuff. Like they literally transition into it. Whereas I just kind of went out the day before to a restaurant, ate tons of food, and then the next day I'm just drinking liquids in a certain time frame, you know, like it's just so stupid. And that's how you can cause like severe issues, health issues with yourself if you don't actually prepare and transition into it. So that's something that I realized I needed to actually do and I didn't do that. 
So I would definitely recommend that to anyone that's looking to go into a fast is to like do it gradually. You don't have to jump straight into it and fucking kill yourself, <laughs> you know? Like we've got to be sensible and actually do it properly, you know, and put our health, because this is the whole reason I was even doing it is for my health. But yeah, I was kind of contradicting that by jumping straight into such extremes. But I definitely know that for the future, like if I transition properly, then I know I will stick with it for way longer and I will feel better doing it. And like when it comes to detoxifying, it won't be so, I mean, it might be intense, who knows? Because like, it depends on everybody's body, but I feel like it will be better because I would have transitioned and actually done it gradually and not straight in. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of update you so that it's not like, I said I'm gonna do this and then there's no update. So, and to be honest, I am proud. Like I know I keep saying it, but some people perceive certain things as a failure. And I feel like this is important for me to put out there that like, no matter what you do, no matter where you stop at, no matter what thing it is, like it doesn't have to be a fast, no matter what it is that you're trying to do, it's not a failure, it's trial and error. You know, you have to try certain things, give it a go. And if you stop earlier than when you said you would, or like you don't, do exactly what you said or exactly in the way that you thought it would be like that's not a failure and it doesn't even matter because literally failure is just perception you know everyone perceives these kind of things different so I wanted to include that in there as I'm always doing mind cleared videos and things like that talking about the mind and societal norms and all that bullshit so I think it's important to acknowledge every achievement that we make you know I'd never done a fast before so three days is more than I'd ever done you know, so that's still an accomplishment. So whatever it is that you're trying to do, even if you're trying to do a fast, like go easy on yourself in the process. And it doesn't matter if you slip up one day and then you get back on it the next, you know, like it's a work in progress and like we're flawed. We're not perfect. We're going to make mistakes, but it's not the end of the world. You know, we're not hurting anybody. You're not hurting yourself. You're trying to heal yourself. And the fact that you're even taking that like time and that initiative to actually do it is an amazing, amazing thing. And the fact that you're even researching it, you know, like it's a huge thing. And this does take a lot on the body, you know, but so does the food that we keep eating, you know, so does all of the crap. So like, just look at the amazing things that you're heading towards rather than like beating yourself up over things that don't really matter, you know, it doesn't matter that I only did three days, what matters is that I did three days, you know, <laughs> and then when I go to do the next one, even if in the next one I only do five days, it's still an achievement, so I definitely learned a lot about my body and how cravings kick in, and I also learned a lot about discipline and like trying to shut your mind off and not feed into it and not listen to it, like it really taught me a lot about having to detach from your thoughts, which I never really thought that that would happen with fasting, but I guess it would because the cravings come from your thoughts, you know, because it's used to a certain thing. But as we know, our mind is not us, like that ego mind is not who you are. You're way beyond that. So yeah, it really taught me about discipline in that and like having to detach from it and shut it off and not feed into its negative bullshit, you know? So I think it's a powerful thing and everyone should try it, even if you only do it for a day, you know, like it's still taking accountability for your health and still like, even if you just have one day of doing a fast, that's one day of fruit or water or juices or whatever it is or herbs. That's one day of that that you wouldn't have had before. And that's so powerful. So like I'm realizing it's a lifestyle rather than like me needing to do 12 days of a full-blown fast it's actually a lifestyle of me being like okay to, like consciously making an effort to be aware of what the cravings are saying and then making better choices so then one day i'll choose to have a smoothie or a tea or whatever it is and then in the next moment when i'm feeling hungry again like making better choices you know it's a lifestyle and too often there's like all these fad diets and bullshit like that that literally I, like they're toxic for your health because you're not actually sticking with it as soon as you stop that certain thing you go straight back to the old habits because it's not reprogramming your mind 
you know it's just like a surface thing it's not actually getting to the deep root of where all of these cravings come from which is clearly from bad habits you know but you can't break a habit by literally taking on some fad thing for a certain number of days you know like it takes a lot longer than 12 days to break habits i swear it's something like 28 but then to actually really master it is something like 90 or 120 or something ridiculous like that. Like it takes a long time to really change things. So one step at a time, you know, baby steps. And this is kind of me speaking to myself and telling myself like, it's okay, girl, it's fine. Speak to that inner child and like reassure her that she's fine. Like it's okay. And next time, the next step, you know, the next day, because I've still been making healthier choices even after the three days. But it's just not all liquid, you know? So, and also I realised I didn't actually eat that bad anyway. <laughs> like, I rarely eat dairy. The main dairy I eat is chocolate and pizza. But apart from that, like, at home, I'm good. It's just when I go out places or when I'm really craving chocolate. So they're the things I'm trying to kick, you know? We've all got our own issues and things that we're trying to work on and trying to better ourselves. So the fact that you're trying to do that is incredible. And yeah, I'm going to leave this video here, but thank you so much for watching and I hope this kind of helped, even if it doesn't really help you actually through the fast, hopefully it helps you mentally to prepare for it and to realise that no matter what you achieve, no matter how many days you do, it's still a success. So thank you so much for watching, all the links to my music, social media and I'm going to link the last video that I did will all be down below and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so you know when I've uploaded a video. But I'll see you in the next one, bye. I need a man that will hold me down If he a yes man I ain't keeping him around I need a